Let us sing our devotional song. Wonderful words of life, page 234. Let us all pray. Oh, great Lord. 
Hallelujah, how great thou art, O Lord my God. Yes, it is wonderful words of life because it is the word of God. It is the word, the source of life. So napaka-importante po, Panginoong Heso Kristo, ang word of God, which is the word of life. Sapagkat sino man po ang ayaw maniwala sa inyo, there is no life but death. Kaya, Lord Jesus, patuloy po kayo kahit paman sa pag-bless sa bawat buhay po ng inyong mga anak. At patuloy pa po kayo sa pag-bless kahit paman sa mga tao sa buong sanglibutan nito. That thy word must be proclaimed, O Lord of God, and must be heard by all. Kaya, kayo po na ang bahala paano ninyo gagawa ng paraan as what you have promised. So, balit para po sa amin, we will be strong, O Lord of God, hindi, O Lord God, sa inyo. Para hindi kami matitinag kahit paman sa sanglibutan ito. Kaya, pagpalain niyo po ang aming devotional, be with us in thine own might way. Surround us with your angels, saan man naroon ng inyong mga anak, protect us all together. Kayo po nagsabi naman hingin nyo sa aking pangalan ay ipagkaloob ko. In Jesus' name, Amen. Everybody say, Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Please be seated. Okay. Everybody say, Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! May I ask Sister Guy, please read Proverbs 19 verse 2. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Also, that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good, and he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. Praise the Lord. Yes. <clears throat> so, napaka importante po ang knowledge. Kay kung wala tayong knowledge, it is not good. Why? Because we will be tending to commit sin. Sinabi dito, he that he step with his feet sin it. Naalaala ninyo yung nangyari sa ating mga magulang si Adam at si Eva. They were not careful about the knowledge they have from their creator. They got knowledge. God said, do not eat. Do not ever eat the tree that is will cause you to die. And God said, surely you will die if you eat the fruit tree of knowledge of good and evil. So, the Lord is already aware of that. And that awareness, He shared it to His uh, creature. No, yung ginag nila lang niya, yung lalaki at yung babae. But they disregard that knowledge. So what happened to them? They haste to their uh, destruction. Hindi sila naging careful. Kaya sa buhay natin, hindi maganda na yung ating kaluluwa, yung ating buhay, walang knowledge. Now what is this knowledge about? This is not knowledge about education here on earth. This is not knowledge about science. This is not knowledge about anything that is of this world. But this is knowledge of God. Knowledge from God. Na sinishare niya sa atin na knowledge na gusto niyang magkaroon tayo ng knowledge sa mga bagay-bagay na kanyang pananaw. Kanyang nakikita. Kaya kailan di tayo magkulang dyan. Pasahin natin ano ang danger pag hindi tayo nagkaroon ng knowledge. Usaya 4.6 Pakibasa Praise the Lord. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget, forget thy children. Praise the Lord. Yes. Knowledge is very important. Knowledge from God. Kaya nga, sinasabi dyan, My people are destroyed for lack 
of knowledge. Why? Why is it na nagpulang sila sa knowledge? Because they reject knowledge. They reject the teaching of God. They, they reject the law of God. They, they reject the counsel of God. So therefore, they lack knowledge. And that being lack of knowledge, because they reject knowledge, that the cause, no? yun yung naging cause na na-deceive ang mga people of God. Yun yung dahilan na na-snare ang mga people of God. Kasi, alam mo, you know why God is so aware of it? That there is tempter here on earth. That there is evil na gustong magsira sa buhay ng tao. Na gustong mag-destroy, gustong mag-steal, gustong mag-kill sa tao na nilalang niya. Kasi yun yung pinatansik niya sa langit. He has the 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 spirit, he has the motive to destroy, to steal, and to kill sa mga nilalang ng Diyos, lalot na tayo ng mga tao. Kaya, dahil sa awareness na yan, nagpauna ang Diyos lagi sa buhay ng tao to give warnings. Naalala niyo yung sa Revelation chapter 12 na sabi doon who unto you the inhabitants of the earth because the devil is being cast to the earth happy are you and blessed are you that dwell in heaven yun yung mga faithful na mga angels of God na natili sa kanyang kaharian mapalag kayo naging faithful kayo, loyal kayo sa Diyos kawawa kayo sa sanglibutang ito Kasi pumapariyan na ang demonyo o ang jablo. God knows what is the motive. God knows what is the, the objective of Satan against us. So that is why nagbibigay ang Diyos ng knowledge sa atin. Nagbibigay ang Diyos ng awareness sa atin. Nagbibigay ang Diyos kahit pa man ng lahat ng mga wisdom para malusutan natin ang kilos ng kanyang kaaway. So, therefore, Kaya ang nangyari ngayon sa kanyang people, destroyed because not having no knowledge, but because they reject knowledge. Nereject nila. Kaya tayo ngayon sa buhay natin, very important ang knowledge of God para hindi tayo mapahamak. Katulad sa kanyang people. Okay? People, my people, God said, di ba sinabi ni Jesus Christ, I came to my own and my own received me not. But it was Jesus when he was in the flesh. He was a Jew. He was not a Filipino. He was not an American. He was not a Chinese. He was not a Nigerian. But he was a Jew. When he came to his own, but his own received him not. And the majority of the Jewish people Hindi naniniwala sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Not until, sabi ni Jesus nung pumunta siya doon sa Jerusalem, when he was in the Mount of Olives, na porsi niya. Di ba? Meron siyang sinalita doon. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often would I gather you? Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that killeth the prophets that killeth them that are being sent unto you. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often would I gather you as a hand gathered her cheeks under her wings and you would not because you can, you do not understand my visitation, sabi ng Diyos, sabi ni Jesus. Hindi nyo naintindihan ang pagbisita ko sa inyo. Papalibutan kayo ng iyong mga kaaway. At walang bato na nakapatong sa bato na hindi mayayanig. Until such time, kayo ay magpuri at mag-acknowledge sa akin. Ayan, ngayon ang nangyayari. 
Ngayon, aktual ngayon nangyayari, hindi na basta-basta. Para bagang inunahan lang sila ng Hamas, sinigundahan sila ng Hezbollah. So, para bagang maybe to exhaust their rockets, to exhaust their, yung tinatawag nila na yung doom na tawagin na nakakadetect ng mga rockets sa lubong nila doon sa langit. Ngayon, kung natulang na yung ano nila, tapos mag-unite mag ngayon itong Egypt, mag-unite itong uh, Arabian countries, most of them, gamitin lahat yung kanilang mga aeroplano, gamitin lahat yung mga rockets nila, mga bumba nila, to fight against Israel. Ngayon, exhausted na sila. That might be. Yan ang fulfillment. Ibig sabihin, malapit na babalik ang ating Panginoong Hiso Kristo. So, tayo naman on our part. Abang inasikaso ng Diyos yung mga Gentiles para iligtas. Tayo na naligtas na. Huwag tayong magkulang magpakailaman, magpakailan ka man ng knowledge sa Word of God. Nakafocus tayo dyan. To, to obey, nakafocus tayo dyan. To, to stand with. No? Manindigan tayo. Basahin natin yung hindi talaga mag, makinig sa kanyang counsel. Anong mangyayari? Basahin natin Proverbs 1, 30 and 32. Praise the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the food of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Yeah. Tingnan mo. Ayaw nila ng aking counsel. They despise my all my reproof. Saan ba dinahan ang counsel? Di ba si Lord Jesus Christ? According to John 1, verse 1, tapos mag-jump tayo sa verse 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. If you reject Jesus, you reject the Word of God. If you reject the word of God, you reject God Himself. So ano mayon ang mangyayari? Kahit sa kanilang prosperity, they will be destroyed. The turning ha, sa kanilang pagtalikod sa kakulangan nila ng pananampalataya kay Lord Jesus Christ shall slay them. Mapapahamak sila. Kaya, ganun po. So, Ayaw ng Diyos sa sino man sa atin dito na i-disregard din natin. I-take for granted lang natin itong knowledge which is the word of God. Kailangan natin ito tutukan. Kailangan natin ito i-apply sa buhay natin para makasali tayo sa mga godly men. Para makasali tayo sa mga faithful believers of God sa kanyang banal na salita. Ganun po. Hindi man, imposible man yung mga priest. No? Sila pa ang magtatanong saan makikita ang Panginoon. Imposible man yun. You, must, you should know as a priest saan ang Panginoon makikita. Tsaka yung nakahandle ng mga batas. Hindi naman pwede sabihin na hindi nila alam ano ang batas. Pati yung mga pastors, hindi naman pwede sila mismo ang mga transgressors. No, these things ought not to be done. But it is happening. Nangyayari. Basahin natin yan. Jeremiah 2 verse 8. Praise the Lord. The priest said not, Where is the Lord? And they that handle the law knew me not. The pastors also transgress against me. And the prophets prophesied by Baal and walk after things that do not profit. Praise the Lord. Yan. Di ba? Yan nangyayari ngayon. The priest said not, hindi nagsasabi saan ang Panginoon. Of course, priest ka. You are the, the servant of God. Tapos ikaw mismo magtanong na saan ba ang Panginoon? Meaning to say they don't have knowledge. And they that handle the law knew me not. Hindi naman pwede yun. Nagkahandle ka ng batas, hindi mo kilala siya. The pastors also transgress against me. 
the prophets prophesied by Baal, hindi na by the Lord, and walk after things that do not profit. So, ibig sabihin niya, sino man mag-reject ng knowledge, either priest ka man. Sino man mag-reject ng knowledge, either you are handling the law. Sino man mag-reject ng knowledge, even you are a pastor. Sino man ang mag-reject ng knowledge, even you are a prophet. Wala. Walang ano, walang magiging kabuluhan. So, they departed from the knowledge of God and they cling or cling to the other side. Yun na yung deception na nangyayari ngayon sa mundo ito. Satan is trying to divert. Satan is trying to, to, to pervert ang katotohanan ng Diyos. Sabi ni Pastor Edith kalinang umaga, nakita sa video, the first attack of Hamas in Gaza during the uh, dancing and party sa mga hudiyo sa kanilang peace. Tapos nakita doon sa video, ibang klaseng dancing, ibang klaseng feasting ang ginawa nila. It is a modernized, it is a westernized, yung mga suot daw nila, halos nakalabas na yung mga dibdib ng mga babae. Wild parties pala ang nangyari. And that is the reason why there is no presence of God at that time. And no one can protect them as God had protected His children in the old days. At hanggang ngayon, until now, the Jewish people, ayaw talaga nilang i-accept si Jesus Christ as their Messiah. So, isa na yan na factor bakit hindi sila nabigyan ng protection. At lalot na ngayon na may posibilidad na mapapalibutan talaga sila ng mga kaaway. Kaya, let God do it according to His Word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But on our part, let us pray as early as possible, as many as possible, they will acknowledge Him para maligtas pa sila by the grace of God and by the power of God. So, yan na ang nangyayari ngayon. Yes, you are being called priest, but you don't know who is the Lord is. Di mo, di mo kilala si Jesus. Priest ka. <clears throat> Nagkahandle ka ng batas. Kapag batas ang pinag-usapan, they are so proud. Nung una pa yan, panahon pa yan ni Lord Jesus Christ, they are of Moses. <clears throat> they are keep, keeper of the law of Moses. Lagi silang handle ng word of, ng batas, pero hindi nila kilala siya. Kaya, sa buhay natin, on our part, let us be strong in the knowledge and in the wisdom of God, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Basa pa, Jeremiah 8, 8 and 9. Praise the Lord. How do ye say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord, and that wisdom is in them. Praise yeah. the Lord. If you rejected the Lord, tapos meron ka bang wisdom? Wala. Wala silang wisdom sa kanila. If you rejected the word of the Lord, what wisdom <coughs> is in them? Hindi mo piling separate yung word, tsaka yung God, at tsaka yung ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Jesus said, if you deny me, you deny me. You deny the Father. Kaya, si Lord Jesus Christ, lagi niyang sinasabi na hindi mo pili isisiparate. Kahit pa man ang God, ang Word, at saka Siya. O, kaya lahat na nagre-reject sa Kanya, reject the Lord or the, the, the law. Wala, useless lahat. Walang profit ang lahat. How do you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Law certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. How do you say ikaw pa mismo ang nakahamak sa word of truth na lahat ng mga sinulat ng mga scribes in vain? 
The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord. And what wisdom is in them? Wala talaga. Pag makripol na sa isip, sa puso ng tao, ang word of the Lord, which were written by the scribes of the Lord. Pag nakripol na sa isip, sa puso ng tao, ang knowledge of God, wisdom of God, wala. Sira ang lahat. Walang ano, wala ng kakayahan. Kaya, Napaka-importante po ang salita ng Diyos. Basahin natin, ito ang nararapat sa atin. Sister Kisya, pakibasa Malakay chapter 2, 7, and 8. Praise the Lord. For the priest's lips should give knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. Yeah. See, dapat ang priest lips must keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But what happened? But ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. Yeah. Therefore, sa buhay natin, uh, pagtibayin natin ang ating kaalaman sa salita ng Diyos. Pagtibayin natin ang kaalaman sa ating Panginoong Hiso Kristo. Alam mo ang hinahanap ng Diyos ngayon sa atin? We must have the knowledge of God. Oh, kailangan talaga yan. Masahin natin, Hosea 6, verse 6. Praise the Lord. For I desired mercy, and not sacrifice, and the judgment of God more than burnt offerings. Yeah. I desired mercy, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. Oh, sorry. Kinakailangan mas mas binibilang ng Diyos na napakahalaga ang knowledge of God na gusto niyang makita sa atin. Ito yung ating binimeditate. Ito yung ating pinapakinggan. Ito yung ating uh, ginagawa. Ito yung kinakailangan natin. Higit yan kaysa burnt offerings. Higit yan kaysa sacrifice. Kaya pasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Diyos, lagi niya tayong pinapalalahanan. My people, God said, are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they reject knowledge. Who is that knowledge? <coughs> Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God and the power of God. They reject Him. They reject nila ang ating Panginoong Iso, Kristo. Kaya until now, they are spiritually blinded. They are still waiting for the Messiah na ini-expect nila having a throne like David na ini-expect nila na it is a material it is a carnal it is a literal na mag-upo sa throne dyan sa Israel ang ating Panginoong So Kristo more than that ang pananaw ng Diyos more than that he is not only the Savior of Israel, but He is the Savior of all mankind. Kaya, ang ating Panginoong Sokristo, when He was asked by the Pilate, no, Governor, na, are you King of the Jews? Si sinagot siya ni Lord Jesus, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom would be in this world, my servants will save me. I can call even legions of angels. But my kingdom is not hence. Hindi mo nakita ng mga hudiyo na ang kaharian ni Jesus mismo dyan sa Israel. Because <clears throat> He is more than that what they think. Akala nila, Israel lang siya mag -ahari. No, He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Creator. He is the Savior of all. And there is no other God but Him. He is the I am in the Old Testament. He is the I am in the New Testament. 
He is the beginning in the Old Testament. He is the ending in the New Testament. He is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the ending. Which was, which is, which is to come. Hindi <clears throat> nila, ano, masyadong literal ang isip ng mga Israelita. Kaya, therefore, para bagang na-adopt nila masyado yung Old Testament na si King Saul, King David, Mitrono. Uh, yun din ang isip nila as their Messiah. Hindi. He is more than that. Kaya, salamat tayo mga Gentiles dahil through the gospel of God which was preached by first Paul who was sent to the Gentiles and nakarating sa atin. Pasalamat tayo for that gospel na nakarating sa atin and we believe Uh, this is our privilege na naging mga believers tayo. At hindi lang believers, nag-continue pa tayo sa kanyang banal na salita. Hindi lang nag-continue, kundi nag-observe tayo what is being uh, commanded by our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the Word of God. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! So, ganun, napaka-important ito. Kaya anong mangyayari at i-reject natin ang kanyang mga commandments? Ito na nangyayari sa Israel at sa buong mundo. Basahin natin yan. Malakay chapter 2, 1 and 3. Praise the Lord. Malakay. Oh, Malakay 2, 1 and 3. Praise the Lord. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear... And if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will, I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feast, and one shall take you away with it. Yeah. <clears throat> Yan ngayon nangyayari ngayon sa kanila. Oh, ye priests, this commandment is for you. <clears throat> if you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you. I will curse your blessings. Diba? Yan ang nangyayari ngayon. Sino yung mga priest na yan? Yung mga priest pa noong unang panahon na hindi naniniwala sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya, yan na. Uh, natutupad na. Last verse, Malachi 2.9. Therefore, have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people, according as you have not kept my ways, but have been partial in the law. Yan. Partial in the law. Bakit naging partial sila? And yet they are uh, proclaiming to the world that they have the fullness of the law. Without Jesus, He is the the end of the law. You meet mo si Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, you are partial of the law. Kaya, salamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Lagi niya tayong ginawarnihan na hindi mangyari sa atin ang katikasan ng puso at ulo ng mga hudiyo. Kaya tuloy, remnant lang ang maliligtas sa kanila. Yun lang madatna ng Diyos na pag inipit na sila ng gusto. Imagine that those Christians who are preaching in their place, they are chasing them out. No? Pinapalayas, binabato, binadagukan. Grabe, makita mo talaga yan. Makita mo talaga yung senaryo ng panahon ni Lord Jesus, panahon ng mga disciples. There is no difference. It's still the same. Walang kaibahan. Kaya yung warning ni Lord Jesus Christ, malaking ano ito. Uh, inihintay na mangyayari na mapapalibutan sila ng kaway. Until such time, they will acknowledge and glorify Him. Kaya i-pray natin na ang mga anak ng Diyos, magpakatibay tayo sa Kanya. Ano mang mangyari sa fulfillment ng Kanyang banal na salita, 
at least malayo tayo sa kapahamakan ng ating kaluluwa. O ano mang will ni Lord Jesus Christ, gamitin pa niya tayo. Let us do it in a maximum way habang mapupulfill yung Gentiles bago niya babalikan ang Jerusalem, ang Israel. Kaya to God be the glory, mahirap kung walang knowledge, mahirap kung nagmamadali tayo, hindi tayo nagbabasi sa kaalaman ng Diyos na binibigay niya sa atin, kailangan magpakatibay tayo para hindi tayo mahulog kasama sa kanyang mga people that are being destroyed because they reject Jesus, the knowledge and the wisdom of God. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Magsikayo po ang lahat. Hallelujah, let us all pray. <coughs> Hallelujah, how great thou art. Maraming salamat po, Panginoong Hiso Kristo, sa umagang ito. Lagi niyo po kami pinagtitibay kahit pa man sa inyo, Panginoong Hiso Kristo. You are the wisdom and the knowledge of God. Magiging partial ang sinuman, even the Jewish people, O Lord of God. They are partial of the law because they rejected you. So balit, dalangin ko po sa inyo. Patuloy pa po kayo kahit pa man sa pag kilos kahit man sa mga Gentiles na patuloy ang inyong gospel na ma-proclaim to give chance to all the Gentiles. And when these Gentiles will be uh, fulfilled, O oh Lord of God, babalikan ninyo ang Israel. And that Israel, papalibutan sila ng mga kaaway para sila ma-force, ma 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 para sila, O oh Lord of God, ma mapilitan talaga sila. Not an Till, O Lord of God, ikaw, ilang, kanilang i-acknowledge, there will be no deliverance from the hands of their enemies. Kaya, Lord Jesus, marami pong salamat. Patuloy pa po kayo, Lord Jesus, sa pagpuno sa amin ng inyong kaalaman at ng inyong katalinuhan upang kami, Panginoong So Kristo, maging steadfast, maging unmovable sa aming faith and obedience dyan po sa inyo. Kasi ito po ang binabasihan ninyo. Paano po ninyo ililigtas ang mga tao? Knowledge of God, wisdom of God, and obedience. Dahil nawala nga ang tao because of the deception of the devil. At gusto niyong mabalik ang tao sa faith and faithfulness and obedience dyan po sa inyo. So, so that time will come. You're going to divide everything. Left and right. The righteous and the wicked. And you will give to all of them what is due to them. Eternal destination or eternal state. Kaya, Lord Jesus, salamat po sa inyong patuloy sa pagbigay po sa amin ng inyong kaalaman at katalinuhan para kami na nabubuhay pa sa sanglibutan ito. We should be steadfast and movable and always abounding the works of the Lord. Maraming salamat. Continue, Lord, to bless and heal Sister Susan. And lahat ng inyong mga anak niyo, may mga sicknesses, continue to touch and heal miraculously. Alang-alang po sa inyong kaluwalhatian. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Everybody say, Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! God bless all.